Folks, the semiconductor industry is going through one of the most powerful transitions we've seen in decades, and most people still have absolutely no idea what's happening behind the scenes. While everyone else is busy watching big tech names like NVIDIA, AMD, and Qualcomm dominate the headlines, there is a completely different class of semiconductor companies that are quietly building technologies that could define the next wave of computing. And if you're paying attention right now, you already know that 2025 is shaping up to be one of the biggest years ever for small cap semiconductor plays. We're talking about AI inference disruption, automotive electrification all coming together at the same time, creating a perfect storm of demand that smaller companies are uniquely positioned to capitalize on. So that's why in today's video, I'm breaking down four semiconductor stocks that I truly believe could explode in 2025 or 2026. So make sure to watch this video till the very end. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss a deep dive like this. Let's aim for 500 likes on this video so more people can reach and benefit from this info. And remember folks, this video is for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor, and this is not a financial advice. Always do your own research before making any investment decisions. Now let's get into it. Let's start with a company that just sent shockwaves through the AI hardware world after delivering one of the most surprising performance results we've seen in years. GSI Technology, trading under the ticker symbol GSIT on the NASDAQ. This is a name that very few investors were paying attention to even a few months ago, but that changed almost overnight when researchers from Cornell University released a groundbreaking study showing that GSY's Gemini I Associative Processing Unit delivered GPU-level performance while consuming 98% less energy. And let's be honest, in a world where both AI inference and AI training are being bottlenecked by energy costs and memory constraints, a processor that can deliver this kind of efficiency gain is nothing short of industry-shaking. To understand how huge this is, you have to understand that traditional GPUs operate on a load process store cycle that constantly moves data between the processor and the memory, and that movement is the biggest bottleneck in modern computing. GSI has solved this by building a compute-in-memory architecture that processes the data directly where it is stored. That means drastically lower latency, drastically lower energy consumption, and drastically higher performance for workloads that rely heavily on vector search, similarity search, and retrieval augmented generation. These are the exact types of workloads powering modern AI systems, including RAG pipelines, cybersecurity scanning, facial recognition, drone intelligence, and autonomous robotics. Now, the Cornell study didn't just test the APU in theory. They actually benchmarked it against CPUS 6000 GPU, across datasets from 10 GB to 200 GB, and the results were honestly incredible. Not only did the Gemini IAPU deliver comparable throughput to NVIDIA's GPU, but it also finished certain retrieval tasks up to 80% faster than standard CPUs. Think about how big that is. A small semiconductor company producing an extremely power-efficient chip that can rival a flagship GPU on certain workloads. The CEO of GSI even came out and said that the validation confirms what they've believed all along that compute in memory is ready to disrupt a multi-hundred billion dollar AI inference market. And what makes this even more interesting is that GSI isn't stopping with Gemini I. The company has already released Gemini 2 Silicon, which they say provides nearly 10 times faster throughput and even lower latency for memory intensive AI workloads. That means the performance headroom here hasn't even been priced in yet. And this is why the stock spiked over 200% after the Cornell paper went public. Financially, GSI is also trending in the right direction. Revenue jumped from $4.6 million to $6.4 million year over year. Gross margin improved from 38.6% to 54.8%, and operating losses narrowed significantly, dropping from $5.6 million to $3.2 million. They're still not profitable yet, but the improvements are meaningful. Most importantly, their cash position grew from $13.4 million to $25.3 million, giving them more runway to scale their APU business. And with the stock now trading around $6.51 and already up more than 115% year-to-date, this is one of those early-stage AI hardware plays that could benefit massively if compute in memory becomes a mainstream alternative to GPUs for inference. If GSI lands even a few major commercial design wins in 2025, the upside from here could be enormous. Now let's move to a completely different part of the semiconductor world. Indy Semiconductor, trading under the ticker symbol INDI on the NASDAQ. Indy is quietly building a massive footprint in advanced driver assistance systems, in-cabin user experience, electrification control modules, and edge sensors. Their technology powers everything from LiDAR to radar to ultrasound to computer vision, and if you've been following the automotive sector at all, you already know that these areas are exploding in demand. Electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, and even ordinary modern vehicles are now essentially rolling computers. 
and semiconductor content per vehicle continues to rise every single year. A decade ago, a typical car carried around $300 worth of semiconductor content. Today, modern EVs and ADIS equipped vehicles are carrying well over $1,000 in semiconductor value, and companies like Indy are among the biggest beneficiaries of that trend. Recently, Indy Semiconductor reported third quarter revenue of $53.7 million with a gross margin approaching 50%. That's incredibly strong performance for a small cap chipmaker. Their operating loss narrowed significantly year over year, dropping to $11.3 million from $16.8 million, showing that the company is trending slowly but steadily toward profitability. What really caught analysts' attention, though, was their backlog increasing to a staggering $7.4 billion. This isn't a typical backlog number. It's a reflection of long-term design wins across ADS platforms, EVs, robotics, quantum systems, and industrial automation. When UBS resumed coverage of Indy, they raised their price target and noted that despite some short-term supply-driven headwinds, the long-term ADS and sensor trends remain incredibly strong. Benchmark also reiterated a buy rating and slapped an $8 price target on the stock, pointing out that Indy is executing extremely well on design momentum. And the catalysts don't stop there. Indy also secured a RoboTaxi design win with a major North American self-driving OEM. RoboTaxi development slowed down in 2023 due to safety reviews and the broader slowdown in autonomous driving hype, but now the industry is starting to re-accelerate, and every single autonomous vehicle in deployment requires multiple sensors. Indy is deeply integrated into that ecosystem, and this design win validates the company's technology in a rapidly emerging category. They also introduced DFB laser products with 10 times lower frequency noise for quantum computing applications. That's something not many investors are paying attention to. While automotive will remain their core business, the fact that they're quietly expanding into quantum and robotics gives the company a whole new layer of potential growth. At a current stock price of around $3.57, Indy Semiconductor remains one of the more attractive automotive chip plays in the market. It's still a penny stock, it's still small cap, and it's still early but the company is sitting on billions in design win value, rising margins, and a path to profitability that analysts expect to materialize sometime between late 2025 and early 2026. And with EV sensor demand rising globally, Indii is a company that could explode in valuation if even a fraction of its backlog begins converting at scale. Now, let's shift away from processing and sensors and move into one of the most exciting areas of semiconductor innovation, Everspin Technologies, trading under the ticker symbol MRAM on the NASDAQ. This is one of the world's leading providers of MRAM, Magnetoresistive Random Access Memory, which is considered by many engineers to be one of the best positioned future memory technologies thanks to its non-volatile storage, extreme endurance, fast write speeds, and ability to retain data after power loss. In a world where data is everything, MRAM is becoming increasingly important for mission-critical applications like aerospace, defense, industrial automation, data centers, automotive control systems, and real-time sensor processing. Unlike flash memory or DRAM, MRAM has extremely high endurance and can handle millions of write cycles without degradation. That makes it ideal for applications like black box flight recorders, satellite electronics, robotics, and edge AI devices that need persistent memory without slow performance. Recently, Everspin announced new high reliability products in its Persist MRAM line, specifically the EM064LXHR and EM128LXHR devices, designed for operation in extreme temperatures and harsh conditions. These new products are a huge deal for aerospace and defense because they offer both improved retention and higher endurance compared to earlier MRAM generations. The stock jumped in after hours trading following the announcement, showing renewed investor interest. Add in the fact that Everspin delivered a massive earnings surprise last quarter, coming in at six cents per share instead of an expected loss, and it becomes clear that this company is quietly improving its performance while expanding its product portfolio. Analysts have also taken notice. The average price target for the stock was recently raised to $10.71, which represents a significant upside from its latest closing price around $7.94. Some analysts even believe MRAM adoption will accelerate in 2025 as more companies look for alternatives to aging memory architectures. With data center reliability becoming increasingly important, Everspin is sitting right at the intersection of multiple explosive markets. The fourth and final stock on our list is QuickLogic Corporation, trading under the ticker symbol QUICK on the NASDAQ. A fadeless chip company specializing in low-power programmable silicon, embedded FPGA IP, AI software, and multi-core SOCS designed for aerospace, defense, IoT, industrial systems, and consumer electronics. QuickLogic is one of the only companies integrating EFPGA technology with AI-ML tools at the edge through its Sensi ML subsidiary giving them a very unique position in the semiconductor world. 
As the need for reconfigurable hardware grows, especially in aerospace, defense, and industrial automation, EFPGA technology is quietly becoming one of the most important tools for companies building custom chips with longer life cycles. Why? Because embedding FPGA functionality inside an ASIC allows customers to update logic, reprogram hardware, and future-proof designs without needing to manufacture a new chip every time an algorithm changes. This is extremely valuable for defense contractors, satellite manufacturers, and data center accelerator designers. Recently, QuickLogic's EFPGA IP was selected by Chipis to be integrated into a high-performance data center ASIC. This is a major validation that many investors glossed over. Data center customers require extremely reliable, tested, power-efficient silicon for acceleration. And the fact that Chipis chose QuickLogic over other IP vendors speaks volumes about the quality of QuickLogic's EFPGA solutions. The stock jumped over 10% in pre-market trading following the news, and analysts have reaffirmed a buy rating, noting that the company's long-term growth outlook remains positive. The stock is currently trading around $6.35 and has gained over 118% in the last five years. The short-term numbers might not look perfect, but investors need to remember that QuickLogic is an IP-driven revenue model, meaning deals often come in large waves instead of smooth quarterly growth. So when you put all of this together, it becomes clear that the semiconductor industry is entering a new phase of innovation. And what's most exciting is that these companies are still small cap, still under the radar, and still at the early stages of what could become decade-long growth cycles. If the broader semiconductor super cycle continues into 2025, and all signs suggest it will, these four companies are positioned to ride that wave in a huge way. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want more breakdowns on semiconductors, AI hardware, penny stocks, and explosive growth opportunities, make sure to like this video, leave a comment below telling me which stock you're watching the closest, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button with notifications on so you never miss a future upload.